Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Now, before we do get in the video, I do want to give a big thank you to everybody who showed their support on my community post and on my Twitter. Um, somebody close to me did pass away on Monday, um, and I just needed some time off to spend time with my family and to kind of process it. So I just want to give a big thank you to everybody. I'm not really going to go into too much detail, but um, just wanted to give a thank you. Um, for everyone showing their patience and uh, for showing the support on the post and on Twitter. It was very comforting. Very comforting. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at the Cursilla deck today. The deck, I'm going to do a video on actually on Tuesday, but I never got around to edit the video. I actually will be including one of the games I got on the video, the original video of this deck I got. Um, it was against an ADP deck, so I'm sure you guys will want to see it. Um, so Glaring Cursilla V did get some cool upgrades with the brand new set uh, chilling rain one of the big ones is going to be old cemetery we're going to be combining old cemetery with curse of the day which i think is a pretty natural combo old cemetery whenever your opponent attaches energy from their hand to one of their non-psychic pokemon you got to put two damage counters on that pokemon now if we combine this with nine aura whenever they attach energy from their hand they got to put three damage counters on that pokemon so in total that's five damage counters just for attaching which is the idea curse law and old cemetery kind of just combine really well together and yes, I am playing a lot of energy denial cards, but it's part of this deck's core strategy. It's not just randomly playing Crushing Hammer just to play it. So before we get in the video, of course, show to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. As always, guys, if you are looking to get any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set codes like Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, Sword Shield, Base Set, Vivid Voltage, or if you guys want to get any promo codes, any GX or V codes, or any of the pre-release kit codes or any piece show code in general you guys can look at at car cabin get them over at car cabin if you get any codes over at car cabin at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your purchase help the channel help yourself out and up our car cabin too so big shout out car cabin check them out and use code ldf for getting codes also if you want to get the video articles i have been posting give them a watch if you were so pleased anyways now let's take a look at the list we've got here for the galarian first v deck um now i've done a few videos on cursal in the past obviously the big one is with arctazolt which I just don't think there's enough room to play Arctazolt. And not playing Arctazolt will make sense, right? With Old Cemetery and with Cursula, Arctazolt would be a great inclusion in the deck. But honestly, there's just not enough room for it. I genuinely cannot find enough room to play an Arctazolt in the deck, unfortunately. So instead, I'm just going to play it with Jirachi, with Stellar Wish, Scuba Net, Switch, uh, two Team Yaw Grunts. Obviously, just Energy Denial cards. For nine aura now unfortunately cursal is a bit of a well it's literally made of glass but it doesn't do a lot of damage hollow missile only does 60 and put three damage counters on your opponent's bench pokemon we play against that one prize deck this attack's actually really powerful um but against you know big decks it can be a little awkward um so i'm actually gonna be playing the couple cape of toughnesses to give cursal at 240 hp which is very relevant i'm also trying out this rugged helmet this is another energy denial -y type of card that chilling rain gave us um if it's not attached to your active pokemon that active pokemon gets damaged by an attack um, or knocked out, the energy from the attacking Pokemon goes back in their hand, which is really cool. So you can actually deny your opponents one of their energy. So it kind of goes with the energy removal theme. And yes, we do have to play Fork Crushing Hammer because it's with the theme of the deck. I'm also playing Fan of Waves, another energy denial card, and Giratina, another energy removal card. So we're just trying to move our opponent's energies, make them have to keep reattaching them to take damage with Old Cemetery and Cursula. Fog Crystal is another amazing addition to the deck, allowing you to search deck for a Cursla or a Psychic Energy. So it's just like, Fog Crystal is an insane card to play in this deck. It's like actually one of the best cards to play in this deck. Um, the four Switch, four Scoob Net, um, four Quick Balls. Uh, that's it. We're not playing any, no other Pokemon search cards because we have Fog Crystal. And they got nine Energy here, four Horrors, and five Basic Psychic. You could play like a Galarian Zapdos in the deck if you want to counter Eternatus. You just got to take an auto loss to Eternatus. Even if you play a Zapdos, it's not really a guaranteed win anyways, in my opinion. You just can't beat, you just can't beat Eternatus because Cape won't save you. You can deny their energy, which might give you the win, but we're only doing 60 damage a turn. It's not really that great. So Eternatus is just a really bad matchup in general for this deck. Even if you play Zapdos and Aurora Energy, we just got to play a bare bones. We're going to see how it does. Let's go try it out and get some dubs. All right, here we go into our first match with Cursla. Hopefully, I don't play too bad. I haven't played PCGO in like three or four days. Um, just didn't do much, you know. Didn't touch PCGO for a bit. Kind of needed a little break, though, not gonna lie. The break did feel nice. Taking a break from playing this game it can be nice sometimes, even though I actually don't mind the format right now. If I was taking a break a lot earlier, then maybe. But uh, yeah, the format's pretty good. The Chilling Rain format is actually pretty good. I don't, I don't mind the game right now. 
It's not like dominated by like ADP and like Pika and stuff. It's really not that bad. Um, okay, let's see. We start with here. All right, not a bad hand. We got the Curse Slow. We got the Old Cemetery. We got the Energy. The pretty yeah, pretty fire hand. We're up against Ice Rider Calyrex V Max, which I mean, the problem with that is Curse Slow doesn't really it can't do much. Oh, okay, they open with a Blaze again though. That gives me hope. Um, they might play a lot of special energy, which is actually really good for us. But they can recover it with Blaziken. It's kind of sketchy. I mean, we'll put the old cemetery down. Yeah, I don't like if they play counter stadiums. They're probably not playing that many, so I might as well play the stadium down now just to maybe lock them. Seems good to me. We could even, I mean, depending on how much energy they play, we could use Fog Crystal for Giratina. Giratina might be really good in this matchup, to be honest. If they are playing, because Rapid Strike Pokemon play a ton of energy. Yeah, they're playing the Inteleon line, which, hmm, I don't know. Low HP Pokemon is always good, but I don't know. Okay, nice. They take the whole five damage. You love to see it. Um, they can do 50 damage to me, which is not going to do that much. Even without the cape, 50 and 130 with Blaziken's VMAX won't actually KO me, so it's actually not that bad. Um, and they also take 20 from Horror Energy. Honestly, they shouldn't even have attacked me because they just took a bunch of damage. We can hammer that off. Yes, sir. We can Fog Crystal for an energy... We might need Mew in this matchup. Uh, do we ever bench Mikyu? No, because I don't think they play any copies of Malolana. Now, I'm, will it backfire? Maybe. There's Giratina for next turn. So let's just go with we'll bench Jirachi and Hollow Missile here. Well, they could boss KO Jirachi, I guess. That would be something, but that's fine. We actually, yeah, look at that. 130 damage already on the Blaze unit, thanks to the combo we got set up here. We didn't get any supporters off of that research. But, well, we got a boss, but it's not a draw supporter. We need to find, like, Yelgrins and stuff, too. There's a Drizzle. We'll see if they bump my stadium here. Hopefully not, because we've got a lot of damage on their Blaziken already. So hopefully they don't bump the stadium. I wouldn't mind getting Marnied here, to be honest. This hand... I mean, we can switch and draw Chi and then try to get a supporter, and then that supporter gets us a scoop up net. They play... Bro, they actually play healing... Oh, Mimikyu, Mimikyu, what did I ever do without you? Well, that's uh, pretty annoying. Still, they don't KO me, but now oh, we have actually perfect damage on us. That sucks. Well, I guess it's Tina the energy off. Could boss a Drizzile, not KO it, but boss it just to... I guess, sure. I mean, I guess. It doesn't really matter what we do here. That sucks. I did not actually expect him to play a Cheryl. To be fair, they only healed, like, one Pokemon, really. Like... That was annoying, obviously, but not the end of the world. I don't think they play any more than just two Cheryls or one even, so it's fine. There's a Marnie. You'd love to see it. Let's see what we get off this Marnie here. Hoping for some supporters, like a Yalgrim would be good. No, we got Marnie. We got Net for Tina, though, so that's good. We can Net the Tina. I do want to try to go in the other Curse if I can, because we are going to die. Ooh, they keep putting the energy on Zeraora. Zeraora is pretty squishy, too. Okay, nice. They don't have anything. There's a Hammer. Hammer go burr? Only the active, right? Yeah, okay. Let's just Marnie then. Can't can't get rid of the energy on the bench. Okay. Uh, didn't get another hammer. We also didn't get the fan, so that's uh, not ideal, but whatever. Let's just go Hollow Missile for the KO. I mean, I don't even really know where to put the damage. Probably best just apply a pile more damage on Blaziken. It's the biggest threat on board. Honestly, we should have retreated, to be honest. Yeah, we should have retreated. No, they removed their aura, though. They haven't established an Octillery yet, which is good, I guess. Hopefully, well, I don't even think they play Octillery. Hopefully, they don't play any more than just one Cheryl. I, I just generally did not expect them to heal. I mean, the Mimikyu wouldn't have stopped the Cheryl anyways because it's on the active, but... It just caught me off guard. Looks like they're still stuck, though. Let's go. We get more damage on board. Okay, this is really good. Yeah, I'm going to use the opportunity to switch. I'm going to get Mew here. It's in the deck, right? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, use the opportunity to switch into Mew. And then... Do want to research. I'm not going to be really low on supporters. We want to remove their energy this turn if I can, so. Yeah, rip. That's fine. We're going to be out of research, but what you do. Ooh, we didn't get any anything off of that. No hammers. Okay, no fan of wave either. Going to hollow missile, I guess. Hit for 60. We can hit the Sobble. It's going to evolve anyways. We'll put damage on Zero. We'll spread the, we'll spread the damage out. Uh, we should have Blaze again, though, too, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We could have maybe played one of the Far Crystals, to be honest. Didn't have the deck. I don't know. We're out of research now. We have two Marnie and 
the Alcrat left and a boss, so we don't have much draw left in the deck. So we should probably thin out the deck as much as we can. Yeah, we should probably just play and thin out stuff. They might Marnie me again, though, to be honest. I might just play a Marnie here. They could boss KO my Mew. That would be bad. We don't play Orny Rod on the deck. They could KO my Mew. Maybe we should have benched it so early, to be honest. It might have been a bit early to bench it. Oh, with a three-card hand, and clearly the Zero is stuck. They can't really pull off a boss unless they, like... Have a Dedenny or Crobat, maybe they can pull off something. Uh, but we are piling up a lot of damage. I'm really hoping they don't play any more than just one Cheryl. They play a Guzman Hala. Okay, that can get them a stadium finally. They can get rid of my old cemetery. They're still going to take a bit of damage with Nine Aura, though. But it looks like they will remove the stadium finally. That's assuming they play Tower of Water, which they most likely do. I can't imagine they wouldn't play a Tower of Water. They probably play Air Balloon, too. Um, yeah, they get rid of... Ooh, Inteleon. More energy. Okay. Probably going to go Rapid Strike Energy and Tower of Water and Telescopic Sight, I'm guessing. Yeah, look at that. I called it. I was right. Fine, we got another Old Cemetery. They actually are now they're in top deck mode, so that's good. Now they're in top deck mode. Oh, no, they do have a Dedenne in the deck. Okay, I was like, why are they attaching to this? Dedenne is a good target for us to snipe at some point in KO, but we'll see. I mean, it'll come down to really they have another Cheryl or not, because this Blaze can VMAX has to go down soon. Oh, they hit the Blaziken. No. Okay, yeah, we're in a bit of trouble now. We are in a little bit of trouble. We can Tina the energy off, though, and then bump their stadium and then Marnie them. So that's like our best play here. Not in a great spot right now, though. The fact that they can accelerate the energy to bypass the nine aura. Not very good. Not very good. They take a bit of damage though, which is nice. Okay, that's good. So let's go bump this first. We will crushing hammer go burr. No. Pile up this guy. We'll give up. Dude, it's fine. Giratina here. Get rid of the uh, energy on the blaze again. Let's do this. Play the other fog crystal, I guess. Put that there. Just, we have, we still have all our quick balls. We just want to make sure we're thinning out as much as we can. Didn't get another crushing hammer. Rip. Oh, we only have one left. We still haven't found a Yalgrun yet, which is very interesting. No Yalgrun is sad. Probably do want a quick ball for Curse Slow, but I don't really want to get rid of. So I'm just going to Hollow Missile again. Yeah, not much we can really do about that. We can hit, hit this guy for 30, I guess. Because this guy's already heavily damaged. I don't know, we'll see if we can win this. We're not in, like, the worst spot ever. Um, it's good that Zero Aura doesn't have a lot of HP. 210 HP is a lot more easier to deal with than two... No, bro, they have two shells? Oh, my God. I mean, maybe, to be fair, we just... Bro, rip... What did I Marnie them in? Bro, I Marnie them into that, bro? Marnie, bro, chill. You're not supposed to give them insane cracked hands. That's not... Not how it works, Marnie. You're supposed to... You're supposed to not give the opponent, like ridiculously good hands oh the double cheryl that's so annoying i mean we probably not gonna win to be honest we're so far behind now i can't believe i murdered them into that bro <laughs> what the frick what the actual heck is that what the actual heck we still have a hammer we still need to find most of our stuff like i don't know where everything is at you know I don't even think it's worth it to Marnie them. I don't know. This is just really bad. I can... <laughs> the Cheryl, the Tower of Water. Hey, man, I got, I got it all. But, all right, Marnie. All right, Marnie. I see you on a bad hand. Workable. We can net the Tina again. I don't really want to do fan of waves. I actually think we do want to remove the Rapid Strike energy here if I can. I mean, they're going to retreat anyways into Zero Aura. Obviously, but we have 130 HP, so they can't kill me with it. So, to find a boss, which I haven't played yet, so they might have a boss here. But spread the damage out. I'm not, I, mean, I gave up. I'm giving up on the blaze again. The blaze again is a lost cause at this point, bro. Blaze again is a lost cause at this point. It's not even worth it. They have one Rap Strike energy left. The Cheryl's caught me off guard, though. I didn't expect the double Cheryl. I really didn't. They have another Guzmahala. Oh my god. That can get them another Rapid Strike energy. And another Tower of Water. Uh, still have one old cemetery left. No, okay. Never mind. They don't get anything off of that. That's really okay, good. No Tower of Water, no Rapid Strike energy. That's good. 
Yeah, they're going for the Zerora. Do they have a boss? Oh, they can't boss. Never mind. All right, Crossfist doesn't kill me. They take a bit of damage here, which is good. All right, the Zerora is looking juicy. We can remove all the energy off of it and, and leave it stranded, which I think is too good not to do. It doesn't really matter how I sequence the energy removal there, in all honesty, guys. That's why I was like, whatever. It doesn't really matter how I sequence the energy removal there, you know. 40 HP left. 100 HP. I think we'll hit that. I don't know. It's tough. It does, I feel like it doesn't really matter where we put the damage. If they didn't play Cheryl, we probably would have been in a better spot. The Blaze Kings would have a lot more damage on them. Cheryl screwed me over completely. The Cheryl's really screwed me over. Still have a boss left. Okay, they drew a Karina. Will they find a switching card? They do. Rip. Okay. I mean, the game's just over, right? They just win. Well, not over yet. We we'll have to promote Curse. I could promote Jirachi, but we're in complete top deck mode. It's not worth it. Ooh, Crushing Hammer. No, that was our last hammer. So here we go. Hollow Missile. I mean, put three here. They have 1 6 HP left, but unfortunately, because of the Cheryl's, we're just unable to get the Blaziken down low enough to knock it out. 320 HP is a little, little too high for us. I think we're going to fall short in this one, guys. It's not looking good. We're coming super close. As you can see, we are very close to winning the game. There's a lot of damage we have on board, but I think we're just going to fall short. They haven't even played a boss yet, so that's scary. It's still a boss, so it's like, what can we do? The game is pretty much over here, unless we... I don't know. There, I don't see a way I can win. We're out of energy removal card. Well, we have one team Yawgrunt left. We have one Yawgrunt left. We have no... We have one boss, one Yawgrunt, one old cemetery, but that's not enough. I mean, they do have to attach on the Blaziken this turn, I guess. This is why... See, look at how good the cape is. The cape just makes it a lot better to survive attacks from my opponent. But unfortunately, it's not going to matter too much here. It's going to clutch. Okay, they don't knock me out. That's good. We're not going to get killed next turn. That gives us another turn. Rugged Helmet. All right, here we go. Hollow Missile. I mean, I... They still have 80 HP left. See what I mean? Like, it's not enough HP. This is not enough HP. If they had 6 HP, all we would have to do is boss to win the game. I think we are just going to fall short. We'll see, though. There's a Jirachi... Yeah, there's a Yalgrunt. That would have been good last turn to take that rapid... That's, yeah, that would have been really good on this guy. If we had the Yalgrunt last turn, that would have been great. We don't lose here, right? They hit me for 130. Oh, but we lose next turn because of the Inteleon. So we lose. Unless somehow... Well, I guess if this thing doesn't move, they have to take the damage from attacking me. So if they attack me with Blaze again, they will lose the game because of the whore energy. Oh, that works too. Okay. Now we just need... Well, now they have 30 HP left. So if they if they don't heal or KO me this turn, we do win the game. Okay, Old Cemetery coming in clutch here. This is really good. Okay. We might actually have a shot of winning this game. They have to not play a third Cheryl, which I highly doubt they play three Cheryl. Now, if they do play three Cheryl, we literally lose. There's nothing we can do. That's game. We did it. We beat this... Oh my god, what a match. What a game. See, it's a lot... It's a bit of a grindy process with this... With the damage output, but... Eventually, you can get there, especially in a matchup where the opponent, you can remove a lot of their energy with most of their energy removal cards you have, like your Tina and Fan of Waves. You can see how the matchup plays out, and you can see how grindy it can be, but eventually you can get them. I mean, as long as they don't play Cheryl. That's why we do play the Mimikyu, but it's not enough. There's no, there's no way to stop Cheryl, unfortunately, on the active anyways. It's just too good. All right, into another match. We do win the coin flip. All right, we can go first, which is great. I don't know what we're playing against, though, because everyone's got the B-Doofs. Um, we just got to avoid dark. Really, that's about it. Unfortunately, we just can't beat dark. It's just nothing we can do. We can play weakness card energy. That would not stop a turn because the turn can still one hit KO you. Um, we just have a bad dark matchup. There's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes you got to take the L's, folks. All right. How are we looking here? Uh, no Curseless start. We do get a Jirachi start, though, with a quick ball. Not a bad hand, actually. Um, we are going first. We can't play the Yelgrun. All right. What's it going to be? going to be a dark deck, isn't it? See, it's a Turnus. It's a Leon's our deck. Hmm. I did draw Marnie, which is good. I'm gonna get rid of the Yelgrun. I do think Leon's art is beatable. It's 
a little tricky though because of the <laughs> stupid one shot potential but low hp decks are actually not bad we got okay we already got a decent start we got the old cemetery we can switch into the cursula okay that's not too bad if they attach energy to charmander they take five damage they might not even attach energy though but if they play welder right this is one of the things they play welder welder actually plays really well into nine aura and old cemetery because they actually do have to take double damage per welder right because the energy would count as two so that, that's like what they're gonna take a, they're gonna take a lot of damage they play welder i'm pretty sure so we'll see if they end up playing welder i mean they got to attach energy at some point right gotta play welder uh, we'll see this could be a tough one though cave of toughness is gonna be very good lucky egg oh no well we don't one shot them oh they have nothing that's good a hollow missile i guess we just pile up damage on the other charmander we can i mean yeah this deck is pretty good against low hp decks obviously i think this deck auto wins mad party too but uh no one really plays that anymore but it, you, you auto win mad party with this deck technically but like no one like i haven't seen a mad party deck in ages even though i don't think the deck's actually that bad anymore i think mad party's still a playable deck no one plays spirit tomb but uh if you i mean you run a mad party with this deck on the ladder if you if you if you still if you're still somebody who plays standard ladder and still plays against mad party quite a bit there's a deck for you uh there's an oh, okay they're gonna evolve i do wanna does this damage from an attack yes it is so if we can actually if we can knock out the charmander with i don't want to activate lucky egg i think i'd rather kill if we can draw a boss which i highly doubt we will um oh they're playing inteleon bring a sobble here i'm guessing not really trying to marnie them this is not ideal to be honest i really don't like marnie them we gotta research I think we can KO them with Psy Power and actually bypass this. We can find Switch Energy. We didn't get an Energy, bro? What? Okay. All right. We can still get a Fog Crystal. Still get Fog Crystal. There we go. I was like, we actually didn't get Energy off that? We can KO them with Psy Power and actually goes around the Lucky Egg, which is kind of cool. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go around the Lucky Egg. We are... Now we're not going to have Curse on the Active anymore to, like, give them, like, a little thing you know they're not gonna take as much damage when they attach energy but this does bypass lucky egg because that is not damage from an attack that is damage counters that's why i was like we need to knock out this charmander through cursula on the bench or from mew and the mew played out so there you go look at that big brain play right there now we just got to see if my opponent can retaliate they probably have a drizzle in their hand i'm imagining they do mew is probably a goner yeah there's a drizzle Old Cemetery won't take two. I don't think we can kill the Charizard in one hit. Even we had we would need Curse on the active spot. Honestly, we could maybe think about putting a Fiona in the deck. I wouldn't mind that in all. A Fiona would have been really good in that scenario. We could have hit the Guru or we could have knocked out Sobble. Fiona would have been absolutely insane in this scenario. If we had a Fiona, like they bring in Guru, well, they can't move it potentially. They bring in Sobble, we KO it. They bring in Charmeleon, we KO it. So that would have been really good to have a Fiona there. Now there's a Charizard, 120 HP. But they want to welder do it. They are going to take a bit of damage, but not enough to get killed by Curse. So this is a little sketchy, not going to lie. Do they have a Dedenny in the deck? They do. Yikes. Uh-oh. Now, this is where things are getting a little, little, little difficult. The Dedenny definitely is sketchy. If Mew doesn't get KO'd, that's good, though. We can go back into Curse, probably. Probably going to go into Drotch and try to hammer them. It'll come down to whether or not Welder comes in clutch for us. I'm also curious to know if they have any counter stadiums in their deck. Yeah, I want to know, do they play any counter stadiums at all? They might play... I gotta imagine they have a few giant hearts. Like, like I can't imagine this deck would not play counter stadium. Hopefully they don't have one here. I like. I would like the old cemetery to stick. We'll see, though. We could boss the Dedenne with Cursla next turn and Hollow Missile. I think we need to just hit this Charizard. A little bulky. We also get another Cursla powered up. We need to get another Cursla energy down here. Do they do? Do they have a welder? Do they have a welder? I'm not going to side power again. Yeah, it's definitely going to go curse. Do they have a welder though? I'm going to go draw and try to get another fog crystal or quick ball and get another curse with a cape on it. See what they got. They have an energy. They take two damage from the old cemetery, which put them down to 100 HP. Okay, they do have the welder. Yikes. So they did have it. They are going to take some damage here. Yep, 20. 20. Haha. <laughs> curse of the active. They would have taken 100. That would have been insane. They have 6 HP. They actually will survive the Cursula. That's annoying. They're definitely going to KO it next turn, too. They need 
two Leon in the discard to one shot me, or they just need to play Leon from their hand next turn to kill my Cursla. We try to maybe what we can do is hit them with Cursla, remove their energy with Crushing Hammer, and they reattach. They knock themselves out. That could be actually a big thing we can try to pull off. We had a horn energy on me that would have been perfect too, and they would get knocked out by attacking me by the Cursla. So we can also send them for sixty, and then they technically get knocked out. Ooh, they lose. Okay, they lost an Intellion number two. There's another Sobble. Do they have a second Charmander? I would like to hit a Charmander early on, but will they play one? If not, I think we just hit the Dedenne for 30. Nope. Okay. So unfortunately, they... Well, I guess it wasn't that bad. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's just try to remove their energy here if I can. Uh, ooh, there's Far Crystal. I'm gonna get a Curse down right away. Killer Wish. No Crushing Hammer. We can Yell Grunt the Fire Energy back in their hand, though. We need another energy attachment this turn, though. So I think I'm just going to risk it for the Crushing Hammer off of the research here. But I also need to power up this Cursula. And if we play Yell Grunt, we are not going to do that. Even if, like, yeah, it's not going to work. I'm going to research. Crushing Hammer. Okay, wow. Not a single Crushing Hammer. That uh, sucks a lot. <laughs> That sucks a lot. If they attack me, they get knocked out. So it could be a little could be a little prize trade here. Yeah, no hammer. Maybe I should have taken the Ogren then, because if they attach from their hand, they knock themselves out. But they could have also played a boss. I don't know. I don't, maybe I should just grab the uh, Yalgren, to be honest, and just like be like, oh, if you attach, you KO yourself. If they attack me, they kill themselves. So that sucks. I don't know. That I was expecting to get another hammer off that. We'll see if they get rid of their next Leon. Maybe holding the hand was better, because we also can boss out Charmander, but we wouldn't KO it, though. Okay, Ooh, they play Heat Energy, bro, that's annoying. Okay, that actually is really bad. If they played a Heat Energy down, instead of attaching that energy again with the Yalgren, they actually would have survived, because they get the extra HP boost. That would have been very bad. What do they do? If they bench a Charmander attached with that, it would be great, because then they take damage. I doubt they will. What are they going to get off this Drizzle, though? I mean... They could boss my Jirachi. They could boss my other Kursla, which doesn't have a horror energy on it. That would also work. That's if they can get this last thing. Looks like they are just going to settle with an Inteleon. How many boss do we have left? We have one left. Yeah, okay. We need to boss this. Okay, there's an ordinary Rod. They can finally get back Charmander. Yes, sir. They got the Charmander. The bench it, we just got to keep piling damage on it. I doubt they'll attach to it, but if they do, I mean, that'd be great. They'll take five damage counters, and then we can knock it out with Hollow Missile, which would be hilarious, but I doubt they'll do that. I don't think... Do they have a KO this turn, though? It's a big question. They have one Leon on the discard. They can even win sense here for... An, okay, they can go into Leon. Okay, they can go Quick Ball Leon. Okay, they do have a knockout. Right? No, if they play the Leon, actually... If I get two Leons in the discard here... Um, Yeah, they have to discard two Leons here to KO me. They play the Leon from the hand. They're going to do 230 damage, which would not be enough to KO us because of the cape. Hey, told you. Look at how good cape is. Like, see, if I was playing four rock helmet, cape is just so much better. Look at how good cape is. Oh, they get the stadium. Yikes. I'll still take a bit of damage if they attach, though. It's not too bad. That sucks, though. I mean, we still have three old cemetery. We're still going to be fine. There's one Leon gets discarded. Do they have a second one? If they have a second one in their hand, they can kill me. If they don't have a second one... Not good. They also get a char. They have to get a Charmander down this turn too. Don't forget. I might just play Scoobnet. They can always wall with Inteleon and then scoop up Netted though. I imagine they do play Scoob Net. Guru, yo, one time into the Leon, bro. I dare you, bro. Guru into that Leon one time. I know it's gonna happen, bro. I know it. I know it. You're gonna Guru into that Leon. Okay, no, they are gonna boss me. Yeah. Oh, but they still go for my other Cursla, which won't won't get KO'd unless they have another Leon to discard here. Do they get a Charmander too? They actually sh they should just boss out Jirachi, to be honest. Balloon on the Guru, sure. Is their turn going to end? They've, they've had a very long turn. I would like to play the game. There we go. Okay, no knockout. Nice. Okay. There's a Crushing Hammer. One card off. Okay, well. We don't need to play it, so... Yeah, we don't need to play it. I'm actually going to hold the hand. I think I'd rather keep the Crushing Hammer for next turn, and then we'll just knock out the Charizard. Once again, pile damage onto Dene so we can boss KO down the road. 
if we ever get to that point. Okay, one Charizard is now down. Oh, what a game. This is a weird match. They have a massive hand. We can't disrupt their hand either, which is unfortunate. They actually could put an Inteleon in play here and two-shot me with that Hydro. Yeah, they could two-shot my Curse with an Inteleon. That would be bad. Yeah, there's the Scoob Net. That's why I was like, we don't need to hit... We just hit the Denny because like, they could just heal, which they do. But no Inteleon. So they're going to play the Shady Dealer. So they're probably going to go double Charmander, I'm guessing. Honestly, we might have the research next turn. As much as I don't want to, we do have to try to play around... Because, well, yeah, they're probably not going to play an energy. We have to find Old Cemetery. They're probably not going to attach energy this turn, but if they do, that would be great. But because of the 9 aura and the yeah, no, 70 HP is too much for the Charmander. Yeah, it's just not good. We'll see if they attach energy, though. We'll see what they end up doing. This is not ideal. I'm imagining this is going to go double Quick Ball. Right? They played one. They want to get double Charmander here. My opponent is taking very long between their turns. <laughs> All right. Yeah, level ball, Evo Wind Sense. Actually, an Evo Wind Sense. We still have Marnie in the deck. Yeah, okay. How many Marnies have we played? We played one. Uh, I would like to draw one of my Marnies. That'd be great. If we can draw a Marnie here, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I would like to draw a Marnie. Get rid of their big hand. Yeah, that'd be great. They got a Charmander. We can't boss KO it unless we draw a boss and they attach energy to it. We would KO it, which would be really good. That would be great. I don't think that's going to happen, though. We have to hit it for 30, though. We I want to keep hitting this to Denny, though, for 30. Two more hits and this thing will be able to be killed by Hollow Missile. Unless we played a Goon, but we don't play Goon. There's a the Charmander. Will they do anything else? Will they do anything else here? Will they attach to it? They can because they won't get knocked out by Hollow Missile. I mean, crushing hammer in them. Which is, I don't want to waste this hammer, so I would actually like to hit them. Unless we draw Marnie. No, they're going to stand me to four. Oh, okay, wow. Ah, no supporter. We did get an old cemetery finally, though. That was an, a stamp. Just out of nowhere. An out of nowhere reset stamp. Okay, not good. We didn't get any energy removal off that, so this is not good. We're back in top deck mode. Nice. We have a Fog Crystal, though. We can get another Cursula. Not looking good. My opponent is also still taking a very long time in between their turns. Um, hopefully they speed it up. Okay, they take 30 damage. If only we had the Old Cemetery in play. Well, not even that. The Heat Energy, actually. The Heat Energy, bro. We can try to remove that fan of Waves. Or Tina, so that's good. Okay, nice. We drew Marnie. That's a huge top deck. That is... To be fair, what I was trying to get. Yeah, okay, nice. Oh, we don't have Giratina anymore. Never mind. I didn't realize they're playing Heat Energy in a Charizard deck, but whatever. All right, Marnie. Four supporters. Okay, well, well, we did get the boss. We didn't get a Crushing Hammer, though, which sucks. But hit for 30 on this Charmander. Just keep piling damage on it. 30 HP left. So if they don't evolve it, we can KO it. They probably will evolve it. They haven't played a single Rare Candy yet. So I probably Marnie them into the Rare Candy Charizard. I haven't played a single candy. They also have Sobble for Drizzile. We'll see what happens, though. Yeah, there it is. There's the Rare King Charizard. And we didn't remove their energy either, which stings. But if they attach, they will take five damage counters, which will put them down a little low. Let's say you draw another old giant hearth here. Hopefully, they don't get a Drizzile or a supporter off of this guru. They have Battle Sense, though, which is a little awkward. And they're going to be able to one-shot my Curse now, which is really scary. So we really have to rely on this damage we can pile up on them. I think another Charmander down too. That's another big thing we gotta watch out for. All right, there's the there's the battle sense. Will they get rid of any big cards here? When are they getting rid of? They get rid of. Oh, there's the Leon. But they lose another Charizard in the process. Okay, well now they can one-shot my Curses now with the Cape on, which makes things a little scary. We really gotta rely on that damage we can pile up with Nine Aura and Old Cemetery. The heat energy is really awkward, though. But it is something we can move with a fan of waves. It gives us more energy removal out. If for some reason they don't attack me this turn, we can yell grind the energy back in their hand. Which I'll probably end up doing. We could also boss the Dedenne here for 60. We have a 40 HP, but that's still not enough. Maybe we should put 10. Oh, let's go! Huge turn. 
Yeah, we're going to do that Yell Grunt. I'm going to Hollow Missile. Knock this out. We hit the Charizard for 30, I think. Just put all the damage on the Charizard. I'm too lazy to do math, but we do want to do that. Yeah, they have 8 HP left, so. There's Rugged Helmet. Not bad. We can put that on Cursal finally, because the cape doesn't matter anymore. That was a good turn. They promote to Dene. Maybe we could, we could honestly could have put one damage on the Dedenne to leave with 90 HP so we can boss Hollow Missile it. I think we do just, we pile up damage on Charizard though, I think. That was a good whiff. That was a good whiff. Okay. That got us an extra KO too, which is nice. Now we just got to kill Charizard and Dedenne to win the game. So we're getting a little bit closer to winning this. Not out of the woodwork yet, but we can still beat him. We still have energy removal to work with. We still have a lot of our hammers, which is good. Um... They have the Welder to attack me this turn, which means they have to take a ton of damage. Even with the Giant Hearth Bump. That's fine. They do have a Welder, probably. They will... But they have to move the Dedenne, too. I don't know why they promoted this. They have an Air Balloon in their hand. They... Hmm. Yeah, if only the old Cemetery stuck, though. That would have been huge there, but... That might be their last Giant Hearth. Considering they play, like, random stuff like Lucky Egg, and they play Reset Stamp, Scoop Up Nets. I highly doubt they play any more than just one... Oh, they pass. Okay. Unfortunately for my opponent, we kind of... We're not winning, obviously, but they did just put me in a really good spot by feeding me the Dedenne. They should have gave me the Inteleon, because it can take a hit. Um, You put 30 on the Charizard. Yeah, we'll keep putting damage on Charizard. Now we do just win next turn. We can kill their Dedenne. Well, we're getting close. We can put one damage count on the Dedenne next time we attack. And this Charizard will have 40 HP left, so we knock it out. We another... We could actually know what we should have retreated into the other Cursula because it has double horse. So if they attack with Charizard, they will get they get knocked out. However, I'm fully expecting them to probably get another Charizard down anyways. Or not. They get rid of their last Charizard. Yeah, there's a Drizzle. Do they play another reset stamp? Well, they have to get a switching card too. I can't scoop in a Dene. They have to air balloon it. This is a very long game. Game's like 20 minutes. Okay, there's a Welder. But if they play the Welder, they're going to take a bunch of damage. Even though we don't have an old Cemetery in play, they still will take quite a bit of damage from the Welder. There's the Welder. Probably going to go on the Charizard. It won't get knocked out. Actually, he's with 10 HP. No, they have the Welder, the Dene, which now leaves it. So now we just win next turn, unless they play a Cape of Toughness. Or, no, Big Charm, sorry. Oh, they if they attack me too, we win. We They get knocked out. Unless they play the unless they play Fion, but even then. So, good game. We should win here, right? They hit my Cursula. That's game. 300 damage. Not a big deal, bro. A 300 damage attacker that gives up one prize. Cursula can still beat it easily. Yeah, and there we go. That's game. All right. That'll wrap up the video, guys, on the uh, Cursula deck with those two matches. Because I will be showing you guys another game against ADP that I got. It wasn't a super long game, but it was a game against ADP. Nonetheless, showing you how you can beat that matchup. Uh, but overall, Cursal Cemetery, it is obviously a meme. And unfortunately, it just can't beat some of the dark decks right now. Not much you can really do in that type of scenario. But overall, the deck is pretty cool. Um, Curse Level with Old Cemetery is pretty awesome. Being able to put five damage counters on them is pretty awesome. And if you want to play an Arctazole, you can. Maybe we can try it out post rotation. I just think the Drachis were more important, but you can cut the Drachis, I guess, for other things. But anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed today's PC show video, guys, uh, please leave a like on the video. If you enjoyed, uh, subscribe to help me the road to reaching 18,000 subscribers. Uh, I want to thank you guys for all just growth in the channel too recently. Uh, check out Karkav and use Carl the F, and I'll see you guys in another video tomorrow. Daily uploads will be back, and uh, enjoy this ADP match. All right, we're up against an ADP deck here, which definitely can be scary, but if we can remove their water energy, we actually might be able to beat them. We'll see. Okay, Curse will start. Fantastic. Pretty solid hand, too. Old Cemetery Energy Crushing Hammer for the following turn. Love to see. This is the one time I can use Crushing Hammer. If you're playing Crushing Hammer because it's actually part of your deck's, like, literal strategy, I can respect it. I can respect Crushing Hammer if it's part of your deck strategy. This, this deck is all about moving the opponent's energy. It's part of the core. We're not just playing Crushing Hammer just to put it in the deck. Just to, like, play Crushing Hammer. We're playing it because it's actually part of our strategy. So, that's the one time I can excuse Crushing Hammer. As much as I hate that card. If you're not, if, like, if you're just not, if you're just playing it because, because... I mean, come on. Now, let's see if my opponent gets a Chaotic Swell with this Skyla here. Um, we'll see what they grab. Probably Marnie if they don't attach energy, because I want to make sure we don't waste the Crushing Hammer. They get a Quick Ball. Yeah, definitely ADP might not be the easiest deck. Now, if they're playing the Moltres V, I mean, we're probably just cooked. We can't really stop Moltres. I mean, obviously, oh, yeah, there it is. But they actually discard it. Okay, very interesting. I'm surprised they honestly didn't put Moltres in play. That's better than Zacian, I would say. There's the Water Energy. Nice. And there's that five damage counter. There's the Dedene. 
not oh there's that other water and that might be their only other water g so now if we can crushing hammer hedge them here we can maybe put them out of commission so we can draw yell well not yell grunt but it has to be crushing hammer specifically another marnie let's go get out of here with that crap let's go uh never to scoop up net not the charm i'm really gonna need it grab me another curse of love gonna fucking play i'm just gonna marnie them might as well their hands pretty low might as well marnie this deck could be busted if you get like path the peak but it doesn't work and we do find the energy i was about to say we are gonna whiff it but we do find it we have another crushing hammer not sure i really want to well they're down two waters. I don't know if they have another water. They might have Aurora. They can still energy switch. I think we still want to try to remove the energy off the station. Yeah, there we go. And then we just hollow missile here. And this is where the grind begins. We're doing 60 damage a turn. We do not play Galarian at Zigzagoon at all. So our damage is a little weak. This is why the Arctis Ult is pretty good to help your damage output. But we're off to a pretty solid start. The only problem is we did Marnie ourselves into a bit of a dead hand here. So we might be in trouble, but we'll see. Um, I kind of regret mentioning this now because we did Marnie ourselves into a dead hand. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that because they could boss it. Uh, yeah, Saucer. This is one other issue. We didn't get a cape off that. Zacian could just body me. Um, but, I mean, they might not be, get, be able to AC. We'll see how this game goes. Um, getting Marnie into a pretty bad hand definitely won't help us. There's a Viridian. That can help us. But now the old cemetery is gone. Uh, but Viridian definitely does help us, I think. Actually, my opponent benches a Mew, which I don't really understand why they did that. That's an easy hollow missile target. Do they play three water energy in their deck? I don't think they do. Most AD Felix only play two. If they do play three, I mean, well, we should have saved the crushing hammer. Uh, we should have saved the hammer if they do play three. Do they play three? They do not. Okay. It looks like they might have an Aurora. I gotta imagine they do play an Aurora, though. Please don't. No, there's no way, bro. You don't play three waters, bro. You, you would have grabbed it. You wouldn't have found it off of. Oh, no. They still. <laughs> That's why I tried to go for the crushing, double crushing hammer so they can't energy switch. They found their last energy off of that small hand, but we do top deck our research. Okay, we have been gifted from the gods a second chance. We'll see. This is not, we need to get a cape on. Well, not even that would save us. And we got, well, I might as well put on the bench because this guy's going to take the one. Yeah, there's no point. This guy's going to take damage anyways. Uh, we can sell a wish here and try to find a crushing hammer. Actually, don't mind that. Or Giratina would be. Oh, no, we can get Giratina with Far Crystal. Awesome switch. I think I might take the switch. Actually, Boss might have been good, too. Yeah, we can grab Giratina. I forgot we can Far Crystal Giratina. That just makes Far Crystal even better. Yeah, I forgot we could just do this, actually. Yeah. Rip. We'll switch back in and just go. Auto Missile. Yeah, I forgot we can do that. Now I wish I put the cape on the active. It's all good, though. Uh, we're just going to keep picking away at that Zacian, I think. This is still a bit of a long road ahead of us. We have removed a lot of their energy, though. Um, they should be out of waters now. I don't know if they play four outs to water energy. So they can't do ultimate ray anymore. And they're down three saucers. So this might be a... I mean, actually, you know what? I wish I grabbed the boss off of that Stellar Wish because I can boss his Asian next turn. We'll see. Yeah, maybe I should... Well, if they do get energy on, we're going to Yellhorn them anyways. Or Yellgrum. We need to find another old cemetery, though. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, Giratina Far Crystal's busted. Not gonna lie. Okay, there's the energy attachment. Yeah, now I wish I grabbed boss. There's a Crobat. They have one saucer, so they can't attack me this turn. No, they can. They can go switch energy switch saucer, but will they really find all of that off of a Crobat? Probably because ADP is the luckiest deck on the planet, but we'll see. Um, but if not, we can hit this ADP for 60 damage, leave it with 20 HP, which means we can get it down the road. We can yell grunt the energy off the Zacian. Um, we'll see how this goes. It's not going bad so far. It's not going bad at all. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, we might actually be able to beat an ADP deck. Color me shocked. But now I'm actually glad I grabbed the switch off Jirachi, though, because having the net in my hand also means that they try to, like, boss Giratina so they can avoid curse that we have the net. So, pretty good. They might play more special energy, though, so Giratina could still be useful. Honestly, my opponent really should just use that Moltres. Yeah, they did have another special energy in the deck. They had another Aurora. They're running out of energy, though. They're Okay, Let's go! They concede! Bro, we beat an ADP deck with Galarian Curse Levy, and that's how you do it. Honestly, if my opponent just put the Moltres in play, we probably would have been screwed. We can't really stop Moltres. They should just put the Moltres in play, but hey, you know what? Casual ADP deck using just Zacian ADP. A bit easier to beat, especially when they have Aurora Energy, which works with Giratina, so... I'll take it, bro. Beating ADP always feels good.